morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Shall we have a little word about what happened this week? Because where are you supposed to be right now? Where aren't you? And what happened? What did you do on Tuesday? Did you go into massive big seizures on Tuesday? And lots and lots and lots of vomiting? And did you need rescue medicine? To the extent that they cancelled your surgery the day after? Because they didn't feel that it was safe to put you under GA less than 24 hours after Bokomodazolam? Is that what you did? Did you also give yourself acid burn all over your face from all the vomiting? Yeah. <sighs> Best laid plans and all that, yeah. I... Gotta be honest, I was quite stressed out earlier this week because I was trying to get ready for the surgery and staying in hospital for an unknown amount of time. Am I sitting on the cream a little? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to put a barrier cream on her face to help heal all of that rash on her cheeks. Um, yeah, because I was away over the weekend and then I was working Monday and Tuesday, 10 hour shifts both, day, both days. And then Wednesday morning, I was meant to take Eleni to hospital at a stupid o'clock in the morning. So I spent some time on Sunday evening and on Monday evening preparing, packing, uh, making lists, all of that kind of stuff about what I was going to have with me to hospital. And then on Tuesday, I went into work and uh, Eileen's dad messaged me and said, Eileen's having a lot of seizures. I've given Clobasam. And I was like, okay. Whew. Let's see how this one goes. And a while later comes the message saying, I've given Bokul Medazlam. Yeah, so at this point I started going, even if the seizures stop here, can she have surgery tomorrow? And so I messaged him and went, can she have a general anaesthetic 24 hours after Buckle Medaslam? Could you give Stanmore Hospital a call and find out? And his response was, yeah, that's a point. And he rang them. Uh, so he left a message with the surgeon's assistant. And a while later, uh, they got back to him and said, as long as she doesn't have any more seizures, it should be fine. Um, make sure you bring all of her rescue medicine to hospital. And then at 10 to 4, so I was supposed to finish work at 4. At 10 to 4, my phone rang and it was Stanmore again saying, the anesthesiologist has made a decision to cancel the surgery or postpone it rather uh, because it doesn't feel safe. And so I'd gone the whole day kind of being you know, I had all my tentacles out the whole day, kind of going, what's happening, what's coming, what fuckery is on the horizon, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so it was kind of getting that message. It was almost like, OK, I can turn off now. Whew. Ooh, thank you. Um, and also it came before I finished work. Um, I mean, I'd rather have that message the day before the surgery whilst in Bedford than on the day of the surgery at the hospital. Um, the positive thing here is that uh, at the time they rang me, um, they were sitting, my, my, the, the store manager and, and uh, one of my fellow managers at work were sitting and sorting out rotas and trying to get cover for people. And I knocked on the door and I went, the surgery is cancelled, which means that if you need cover for anything, I'm available. And they both kind of went, hello. <laughs> um, so I landed a couple of shifts more this week. 
uh, which means that I'm not losing out on any money and I've st I'm still keeping my annual leave days that I had saved up for when the surgery is rescheduled for. And I'm getting some of the Easter holiday at home with my girls instead of in hospital and that too is quite nice. So they came here last night in the thunder and hailstorm. Oh, what a weather. Um, and now we're gonna have a chilled out weekend. I did have plans for today, but somebody else has ruined those plans. Hey, is this better? Did you need some more snuggles? Ellen has sat in her chair for a couple of hours now. She's been really good, but she's feeling a bit tired and wants a bit of attention. Uh, I am trying to get myself ready for, I don't really know what, uh, because, what's going on with you? Not very well. No, you're not, are you? I keep checking my temperature because, like, yesterday evening, my, my, my fever wasn't was high. Yeah, so she turned up here yesterday evening and she sort of bounced into the house and seemed absolutely fine. Yeah, I wasn't very, I wasn't feeling very well because like I didn't eat much of my dinner. Yeah, so that's what she started with. She said, I didn't eat very much dinner, mummy. I'm not feeling very well. And then she sort of started saying that she had a sore throat and that her... Yeah, I actually woke up in the morning and then my throat just started hurting. Yeah, and you said you had an achy neck as well, didn't you? Yeah, it was like right here, it felt very stiff. Yeah, and that you were moving between feeling far too hot and fe feeling quite cold. And I was like, okay, this doesn't sound very good. So I picked her up and gave her a hug, I kissed her forehead and more or less went, ow, crap, that burns. Like, let's get the thermometer out and she had 38.3 degrees fever so that was quite high fever wasn't and it, it was red. yeah the, the the thermometer said this is not good so uh, I gave some uh, we call it calpol here I think it's called Tylenol in in the US yeah I've got but like basically it. paracetamol well we we don't know if it's chicken pox or not because like no we it call isn't. it itchy dots if well, it's not chicken pox. It's not chicken pox. So yeah, Alice but has we a... don't know what they're called, so we just call them itchy dots. Yeah, Alice has a few itchy dots on her chest. So I was like, hmm, could this be the start of chicken pox? But when I checked in with her dad, he went, no, she's had those for four days and they haven't changed. So it's definitely not chicken pox. Uh, which is a good sign. Uh, but what is less of a good sign is that uh, Alice's temperature keeps coming back. Oops. Pete's. Keeps coming back. Your temperature keeps coming back. Yes. Yes. Um, so what we're going to do is that, um, like, Ellen's going to be with us out a bit, but she's going to be with Caitlin some of the time when me and Mummy are out. But we are going to bring um, the medicine and the thermometer. Yeah, basically, Ali's, um I am still not sure that we are going to do what I was thinking we were going to do today, because if... Alice isn't well, then we shouldn't go out and do things. But we have to go and do a food shop. We have yeah. to do that. And we have to go to Boots because I'm out of my medicine for my thyroid, so I have to go and pick that up. Um, <clears throat> like, Mummy might just have to live in the car wrapped up in a blanket. If she gets really poorly, yeah. I would rather not do that. Uh, what I wanted to do today was to go to uh, a garden centre and get some uh, houseplant compost and there's a lovely coffee shop in that garden centre so I thought we could sit down there and... Yeah, I wanted to go to that that one with the... Aquarium. There's an aqua it has a coffee shop and um, the one with the aquarium next to it. Yeah, so there's a wonderful, it's called Hudson's Garden Centre. It's in Willington yeah, in Bedfordshire. Yeah, I want to also go to the aquarium. Yeah, and so they have, uh, they have like this amazing aquarium shop and uh, the garden centre and an antiques shop and a coffee shop. And it's just a really lovely place. And it's very, it, it's actually quite um, wallet friendly. <laughs> 
there's another garden center in Wellington uh, that is also amazing, but you, you, you sort of need to sell a kidney in order to be able to afford things in there. Or at least I would. Um, so yeah, much more, much, much more wallet friendly. So that's what I wanted to do today. Um, but the, the, the sad truth is that we might have to give the garden center a miss if Alice isn't well enough. And I'm going to be the boss of that. What? I said we might have to give the garden centre a miss if you're not feeling well enough. And I'm going to be the boss of that. See how you are after we've done Boots and Aldi. But what uh, if I want to and I'm not well? Pardon? What if I want to and I'm not well? Because if you're not well, you have to go home and rest. Because you need to be well next week. Why do I need to? Because you've got the sports day. Well, I don't have to go to it. Well, it costs money, so yeah, kind of. I just want, I do want to, but I just don't have to. Yeah, but it's the same with the garden centre. I know you want to, but you don't have to. So we have a play date planned for Monday that you don't want to miss either. And you've got the sports day that you don't want to miss. There's a lot of things you don't want to miss. And unfortunately, if you're poorly, you have to stay home and rest. So we're going to play it by ear. One weird thing that's going on with Alice's temperature is that I can take the temperature on her forehead and it comes up as her having a fever and then I check her ears and they're perfectly fine. So it's almost like it's localised hotspots. Can you, can you get that? Do I go by her ears and say, no, you don't have a fever, you're fine? Or do I go by her forehead and say, uh, sorry, girl, you should be in bed? Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm probably just... So I'm going to go by how she is. So if she's very tired and if she starts getting like red circles under her eyes, I'm saying, nope, no more. Because I need that. Yeah. Yeah, I do feel tired right now. Yeah, I know you do. Right, mommy said, usually when you have a fever, you all feel very tired. Yeah. The thing with most kids being ill is that they sort of go quite, ha you know, they, they're, they're sort of perfectly energetic and fine and want to do things and be occupied and uh, energised and activated and then, huh, no, and then back up again. And whereas I know when I'm ill, I'm basically just a wreck in bed, but I hardly ever get to be ill, do I? So, But I'm putting on a face now for going out. Eileen is still in PJ, so I need to get her dressed. Alice is dressed. Uh, and then we'll do Boots and Aldi, and we'll take stock of the day. See how we are. Hello, welcome to... Well, not welcome to the vlog, because we started this the other day. We did start this the yeah. other day. Anyways, I'm feeling better. We are playing the cupcake game. Yes, so Alice is finally feeling better, and it is Easter Sunday, so everything is closed. And also, because she still had a fever yesterday, she's not allowed to do anything or play with anyone. So we are now playing, shh. Where's my cupcake? We are now playing where's my cupcake because we need to be entertained. So, first one to Smarties. All right, are you gonna sort this out? Yeah. Cool. And Eileen is now super bouncy because I put her on my lap. Yeah, so, Two days ago, when I started this vlog about the change of plans, um, I said I was still going to go down to the interchange to get my medicine, <laughs> and that was probably all we were going to do. And of course, those plans got scattered as well, because the pharmacist was running late. So we were basically stuck at interchange for two hours, if not more, waiting for this darn pharmacist to turn up. Because I, I, I'd run out of my thyroid medicine and I couldn't go the day after and I hadn't had a chance to go the days before and so we sort of had to hang around away. So we went to a coffee shop and we had a lovely lunch. And whilst Alice was okay for most of it, and whilst Alice was okay for most of it, she did crash out when we got home and needed a nap and her fever came up again. So the last time she had a temperature was yesterday evening. She's gone through the night without a temperature and the morning without a temperature. She did start feeling a bit warmer, but now it's gone down again. And it's just us. I don't have a carer today and nothing's open today. Oh, 
off. And I'm quite tired today. So it's going to be an indoor day. We're going to do calm things. Alice suggested watching Harry Potter, which I quite like the idea of. Yeah, I love Harry Potter too. I, and uh, also crafting. Also crafting. And what was it I said I wanted to get done? Um, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, you don't. I've said it five million times, at least. I mean, I know I'm prone to exaggeration, but that is not an exaggeration. It's at least five million times I've said what I wanted to get done. I even offered you to make some money from it if you help me. Um, no, you clearly don't want to. You didn't give any pocket money for me helping you wash up yesterday, but. I didn't give you pocket money for washing up yesterday because washing up is something we always do. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Why can't I just keep my foot there? Ellie, you are so bouncy. Okay, what's lying on the floor there next to you? Oh, yeah. That. I love it. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, I love it as well. Do you? Do you guys have a faintest idea what we're talking about? Do you want to guess? What is the chore I've asked Alice to help me with? That is an extra, not normal household chore that she can make a bit of money from doing with me. It's a clue. That's a bag of uh, houseplant compost. I need to give my houseplants some TLC. Yeah, one time I tried to help you, but it just went a mess. But I'm glad we have plastic gloves still, so we can do it. Oh, it's gonna get a, become a mess today as well. Don't 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 you worry. Repotting house plants is always yeah, but messy. I could also hoover it up. Yes, you can. Because I don't feel like have a bit more pocket money. Ellie, are you gonna give yourself massive big bruises on your knees? Yeah, be careful. Though. Yes, be be careful. Oh, nice. And the clocks have. I've just... already got like about three or four bruises on one of my knees. Yeah. So does the Ellen. Oh. So stop. <laughs> we, like, <laughs> it was That's a the lens cap, not a cupcake. I had the cupcakes. I just. <laughs> uh, you silly thing. We're not playing with you. <laughs> I just be like. Ah! You're naughty. Okay, let me move your plate aside for a little bit Bye. so we can mix this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Very, like, yeah. Oh, guess what? These are just fake cupcakes. In case that wasn't clear. <laughs> Why would we put the cupcakes upside down? Then they'll be icing all over the table. Right, okay, so. We finished! Oh my god! <laughs> Ellen! We have already played the game, so Eileen picked out her plate. She had a choice between blue and yellow, so what I did was I held one up here and one up here, and the one she had buttered is the one she picked. She picked <laughs> Which colour did you pick? Blue. Did you pick blue? Look, Ellie, do you want blue still? Ellen? Okay, I'm gonna do. Oh, are you gonna let her choose again? Yeah. Um... I don't know where I put it. You are the one who put it. Oh. Bobby, what are you doing? Oh! And then you want yellow, blue, green, I mean, yellow, blue, red, or green? Yellow, blue, red, or green? Do you want yellow? Yellow. Okay, that's, that's a big yes. Do you want blue? No, you can't have all of them. It's just a little yes. That was a bit Do you want me. red? Definitely not red. Do you want green? Definitely not green. Do you want yellow? Yeah. Okay, it's yellow. It is your yellow. Now, which one do you want? I want green. Okay. I guess it's green, which I do so. If you really want one, catch it in your bias to hit schools yesterday. And if anybody value, you were not it. Yes, I'm having bed again. Uh. Oh yeah, drink. That's super important. I'm having tea. I've had two coughs, two coughs of coffee. Uh. I've clearly not had enough coughs of coffee uh. because I can't say coughs of coffee. But I'm drinking tea right now because I thought I'd mix it up. <laughs> so so good. I won't try some. Yeah, you can have some. You can have the rest of it. Mm. Cupcake. Oh, 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 oh. 
So our Easter holidays may not have started as we planned. Because I... Well, how will it start is that? Well, really, it, it should have started with Ellen in hospital. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With her hip hop already. Yeah. Um, and then it should have started, it continued with you not being poorly. Yes. Uh, but I'm feeling much better because I've gone crazy. I'm not allowed to get. Send help. Uh, yeah, so Alice is feeling a lot. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Alice is feeling a lot better. Oh, yeah, 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 And mummy, let's keep our fingers crossed that mummy doesn't get what Alice had because mummy does not need to get poorly. Yeah, because she's the one that has to look after. Look after you and Eileen and work and manage and function and do everything. Super mum. Yeah. Yes. But we're going to continue to ha hopefully have some fun today, hopefully get some good stuff done today. Maybe even wash Eileen's hair today. We're going to see how we get on. Um, but definitely do the plants because I love doing like, <coughs> and I love doing the like um, body wash on the floor and everything. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. So we're gonna stop. Oh, I can get the cup for you. Like it for it. Yep. Not now. We're gonna continue to play a cupcake game for a bit. It's only ten o'clock, honey. It's where's my cupcake? Yes, it's only ten o'clock, which means that it's actually only nine o'clock. Time is weird. It's this wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. That's from Doctor Who. Uh, and we will come back probably Spicky. with quite potentially with more vlogs recorded today. We shall see. Yes! yes! But we shall finish this one here so we, I can edit it and post it. And it's only going to get posted like sometime in June. Recording it on Easter Sunday, we'll post, we'll post it in several months' time probably. No, it's not going to be that bad. But that reminds me, I do need to edit and post. Because I've got stuff sitting in my computer. Yes. And we are going to say bye. Thanks for Th watching. Three, two, one. Thanks for watching. Bye.